Oh yeah, this is this is good stuff. Gino Wu Tang, one on one. Shit. I'm Nick Helkius. I am a sales dude for Nike SB. I've uh, worked at many skate shops throughout my years, and, and this is my junk collection. My favorite boards, obviously I have a ton, but my favorite boards are the ones that I, I picked up pre, pre eBay, when it was really kind of hard to find stuff, and you, you talk to pros, you know, you, I went right to the source. I went right to the, the artists, the company owner, the riders. Um, majority of these came before, I'd say, the late 90s. I mean, some of these boards are just such a, a work of art from a screen printing perspective, man. How they, how they pull it off is pretty incredible. This one here, I think this hung at South Bay Skates for a while, but that was from Ron Chapman's collection. Probably my favorite, Gon's graphic, man, his first board from Blind. So the Nottis and Gabriel, I know I got them as a package deal, which made sense to me. Um, you kind of need the, the Jesus to negate the, the Satan board, but um, definitely my most expensive purchase. Um, it's just that board, you know, at the, at the, these days, man, World and, and that camp was just pushing the envelope and that was as far as they pushed it. When that board came out, that was like, what? You could, you could do that? And um, you know, there's a pretty long history and story with that board. You could get Clabber's book and read all about it, but um, that's one of the most iconic boards I think of that time. You gotta have the Gabriel to go with them, man. That, 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 that tells the complete story. I'm from Clearwater. This board always made us chuckle. World Industries Colvinetics. And this board came out. Um, we all grew up in Clearwater. This organization's based out of there. And I remember the skate shop being very nervous to even hang this board on the wall. And we always kind of kept it behind the counter. Um, we loved it, man. Everybody wanted one of these boards. We all skated downtown Clearwater where a lot of them hung out, and that's just that's some good memories right there, man, with uh, Colvinetics. The old gold board, too, that's another one, man, that that was just the height of NWA, Easy E, everyone wanted to be hard, and in Florida, you, you can't get 40 ounces, you can only get 32 ounces. And it's hard to complete the costume when you got a court, you, you need the 40. And that was another board I remember all of us kind of fighting over who's gonna buy it when it came in, because these boards, man, they only made a few hundred, and when a shop got them in, you had to be there because they were only going to get in one or two of each of these boards. Another great one, man, the, the Sheffy Plan B. I always liked boards that had a lot of the rider's personality in it and the little, little clues to kind of what they were into. And it always tripped me out to see R.E.M. and the Smiths on a Sheffy board. We knew Sheffy and he was a gnarlier dude, but also, you know, he was getting creative and he was Sheffy, man. So, but it's rad to see, you know, you got Tyson, his nod to boxing. Him and his girl, I think his kid is on there. You got PETA. That's sick. Yeah, so this monstrosity, completely ridiculous, but the guys from the skate park, Frosty over at the park, built this for me to kind of house my decks. Um, remember going to poster shops as a kid and you'd go through and you kind of look through? That was kind of my thinking where I wanted people to come in and be able to, like, you know, check it out. Where's it? What's the Santa Cruz section got? What, what do you got? These are all. Santa Cruz, Roscoe, Phillips Graphics, man. I think this holds around 400 boards. Fucking craze. Some oddities. Here's one. This I actually got from Gator's family. Gator, when he was in jail, was trying to start some jailhouse organization of some kind and he was selling his family was selling his boards to raise money for it and this is uh, I believe it never produced colorway later on when vision re-released the boards I think they did a board like this but this came from Gator I have some signed like certificates from Gator around here somewhere this is cool I don't have a lot of Elvas but I always dug these you know you kind of see the texture just like these paint splatters and you know, this was, I thought, kind of a cool graphic, man, of just all the Elva logos and graphics all in one. Crazy shit. Chris Miller's another dude that kind of gets overlooked. I had some rad graphics. Guy early on, kind of doing his own thing. This board, I got off, 
I met somebody online and they had gone to a surf expo, I think, and brought this Chris Miller board to get autographed. When he went to the booth, Chris was like, hey, if you leave it with me overnight, I'm gonna add some artwork to it and you can pick it up the next day. So uh, he did, and obviously it was in 90. Um, he kind of added, you know, this cat, naked chick. Yeah, Chris Miller had some rad graphics, man. Here's an early blender you don't see very often. Snake and lattice. Look how little the nose is. So in 2001, it was like a week before 9-11, I went out to San Diego and I was part of uh, one of the first art shows I did around boards. It was a benefit for Steve Klar and I met Neil Blender. And I had this board on the wall and Neil was so psyched on it. Same color, uh, purple with the blue and um, this is Eric Nash, a drawing he did of Eric Nash and he, he liked it, he was tripping on it and uh, I gave it to him right off the wall. And that started a, a, a correspondence with Neil that uh, just really psyched on. About a year or two later, I actually saw the same board again on eBay. It wasn't the one I gave him, but same colorway, and I got it because I love the board. But seeing Neil so psyched on it, I was like, dude, I have to. I was with Montesi, and I was like, dude, fuck it. Gotta, gotta give it to Neil, which was rad because he sent me the nicest packages afterwards. Am I a little clammy? Am I not looking in the camera enough? 